So let's discuss. Let's discuss this Kodak Black and Masterpiece situation. Um. Basically, Kodak had reached out to Master P, basically, and was just, you know, letting it be known that he wants to be under his mentorship. And, um, of course, you know, they make things like that happen in the entertainment world and things of that nature. So, he... So, of course, Master P, you know, reached the head out to help him <clears throat> or whatever. I guess manage him. But for whatever reason, these young guys feel like the older generation is supposed to just do stuff for them for for free. Meaning that, like, you know, I like think about it. Think about it like this. They want you to basically lead them to the money, but n- not expect no no cut in a sense, right? So, what happened in the case with Kodak and uh, Master P was this: Kodak was go get managed by somebody else. Master P basically was like, you know, I could get you more money. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not really looking for nothing from that basically now when he said that kodak took it as he legit ain't want nothing like he took that as like okay bet you know what i'm saying like you finna basically hook me up like you don't want nothing he took it as that because when master p said he ain't he ain't doing it for no money he took that as literally not not doing it for no money. Whereas Master P was just basically saying that I'm not looking to like take from you more than what you was gonna give up to the next person. So meaning that let's say Kodak had a deal he could have did with the quote unquote white man for like let's say the white man was gonna get Kodak like I don't know, a hundred thousand or something like that. And out of that hundred thousand, the 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 white man was gonna get like ten percent. And then let's say Master P was gonna get Kodak a million dollars. But out of that million still take the ten percent. You know what I'm saying? Like the same ten percent. So, which means, like, okay, he technically not tripping by money because he not asking for a bigger percentage than than what he was going to give up. He just saying that, you know, I do, I do want something from it. I don't expect to help you and not get nothing because I don't think nobody would want to help the next person and not get anything. I, I don't see anybody you know, just helping somebody without it benefiting them either now or later. So, therefore, it must have been a case where he was trying to get his benefits now because it wasn't going to be no benefits later. Or vice versa, it could have been a situation where he won't benefit later. And, he, you know, he was trying to get his benefits for later right now. Whichever way it was, what the people got to understand is this. I don't know what the real conversation was. I don't know what the real paperwork looked like. I just understand where it's coming from on both ends. Kodak was listening to him and took his word as he ain't want nothing, no money at all. Now, what Kodak did say was that some other guy he was working with, ended, he ended up working with, and they asked him, they was like, well, he ain't. I know he didn't tell you that it ain't about no money. He was like, nah, he didn't. And that's the thing. He was like, he didn't come out saying that it wasn't about the money. He let it be known that, you know, this is what I'm going to expect. This is going to be my percentages and stuff. So I'm basically, the way Master P presented it to Kodak, it, it messed his head up, making him feel like he, he was trying to play him, basically, on some shit.
which I can understand that because that's I feel like that too. Then as far as the book bag drive thing go, I don't know too much about that either. But allegedly, you know they were supposed to do a book bag drive. Kodak wanted to do expense more expensive book bags. Did it, uh, Master P told him how much that was gonna cost. Kodak felt like that was too much. Decided to do his own drive. So they did two different book bag drives. Kodak said his got shut down by the police. Don't know. I don't know. But either way it go, people got to understand that business is business. You can't expect to not pay nothing, bro. Even if they say it ain't about the money, you got to understand what that means. Because what that meant was, like he said, you know, I'm not asking for nothing more than what you was going to give up anyways. And that's what he meant by it ain't about the money. Because if it was about the money, I'd be wanting more than what the person before me was asking for because I'm getting you more. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Hopefully, I understood what I said. Hopefully, y'all don't run into no situations like this. Because these be the worst type of situations, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, where you got the, the, the people that ain't understanding what the play is. You feel me? Like... You know, at the end of the day, Kodak probably was still going to make more and then P, you feel me? Unless P was just trying to get too much or something. But if that's the case, then I understand where Kodak coming from. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. But it sounded like he was paying, he was going to pay him to do something for him in the first place anyways. But, you know, Master P was like, I just want to get something off the top too. I want to get something off, off of that. Either way it go, this business with this music, it can get real shady. People be getting, you know, lied, lied on and all kind of crazy stuff. So if y'all in the music entertainment world, man, y'all just make sure y'all be careful and try not to get into no bull. That's all I got to say about that matter. We out.